Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Monroe is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Greater Middlesex Conference Girls Volleyball, 10-1 East Brunswick hosting Red Division rival 7-2 Monroe. First set, Paige Ania with back-to-back -back plays has East Brunswick ahead 8-6 to begin. Ania with a pair of aces shortly after extends the lead to 11-8. Alex Spinelli returns the favor with an ace of her own as Monroe pulls within one and eventually ties it at 14. East Brunswick would go back in front. Paige Ania looking for another kill, but Alex Spinelli with a fantastic dig. However, Anaya Prince and Melissa Chinchar get a hand on it to keep that lead at four. Match point, Alana DeCuna finds the sweet spot to help the Bears take the first 25-19. Second set, we have some great defense to begin, but East Brunswick jumping out to a favorable lead. Melissa Chinchar and Anaya Prince on back-to-back -back kills make it 8-4 Bears. Paige Ania would then assert her dominance. She pushes it to a 10-point deficit for EB. Ania, one of the state's leaders in kills with 85 so far this year, tacks on two more aces as the Bears are ahead 19-5. But Monroe not going away. Dibjot Carr with a great dig to keep the play alive. East Brunswick no good on the kill, and Carr lays down the hammer. Falcons cut the lead to eight. Later, match point Monroe continues to play great defense. Alexa Hopman gets it to go. They trail 24-19 late. Unfortunately, there would be no epic comeback as the Falcons can't make good on the ensuing serve. 2-0 is your final. East Brunswick bouncing back from a loss improves to 11-1. The Bears ranked in the state top 20 had their 10-game win streak snapped in their last one. Melissa Chinchar with four kills and three aces, while junior Paige Ania ends the evening with 10 kills, five digs, and four aces. They currently lead the GMC Red Division and take on Colonia next. Monroe falling to seven and three. Falcons having their four game win streak ended will face JP Stevens next. I'm Neri Rodriguez and you already know, it's Jersey Sports Zone.